Of course, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are extremely popular features right now, but not everyone wants them or needs them. They either won't use them or they don't see a need to pay extra to have them. If you fall in this category, then stick around for this video. We'll be taking a look at Pioneer's DMH-341EX that has a bunch of nice features that you might be interested in. What's up everybody, my name is Josh, I'm with Breaker Stereo and Performance. Welcome to the YouTube channel that reviews, demos, and goes over the latest in aftermarket auto accessories like car audio, performance, suspension, and more because we don't drive stock. And if you're like us, where stock just does not cut it, join the Breakers Upgrade Nation and subscribe to this channel. Okay, hit the button, do it now. If you're in the market to upgrade your radio and maybe you're on a budget, but still want a good, reliable name brand radio, or maybe you don't care for Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, then the Pioneer DMH-341NEX, which is an affordable, reliable radio, might be a good option for you. We'll be doing a complete review on this radio that includes going over the features, unboxing, powering it on for a full demonstration, going over the pros and cons list, and finally, we'll give you our overall rating. Okay, so let's go over the features. Now, this is a digital multimedia receiver and does not play CDs or DVDs. It has a 6.75 capacitive touchscreen with variable color button illumination, built-in Bluetooth for hands-free calling and audio streaming. Now, the remote is included in this radio and the power on it is 15 watts RMS, that's that CTA 2006 rating, and 50 watts times four peak. Now this radio does have web link and you'll be able to use some apps, but we'll go through that during the demonstration. Amazon Alexa voice control. Now there is a Pioneer app you will need in order for that to work. Built-in iPhone control through the USB and Android music through the USB. Now, of course, this is not gonna have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, let's just be really clear on that. Audio video features include video playback from an external source or a USB drive. This does play MP3. WMA, AAC, FLAC, and WAVE music files. Also, high quality FLAC audio file playback up to 192 kilohertz slash 24 bit. So that's really good sound quality. High pass and low pass filters, a 13 band graphic equalizer, and expandability includes audio video input through a mini 3.5 millimeter plug, rear view camera input, and also a video output. Now the RCA preouts are five channel, two volt, front, rear, and a sub mono. And this also is steering wheel control ready. Module is sold separately. Now, just so you know, this radio can be purchased on our website. There's a link in the description below that'll take you directly to our product page. Now, remember we do have financing available, including no credit needed programs. So you can get what you want now and pay later. Okay, let's do the unboxing. All right, let's check this thing out. All right, so here is the remote that we talked about. All your cabling, so let's go ahead and pop this open. All right, main harness, you have your RCA pre-outs, your camera input, and your rear monitor output. This is your USB that's gonna plug into the back of the radio, and then your Bluetooth mic. Also hardware, and your owner's manual. All right, so this is about, I would say, two inches shorter than a standard double-did radio. So a little bit easier on the installation. All right, so we have our capacitive touchscreen. There are some buttons that you don't see here, so when we light this up, you will see some buttons light up. All right, AM, FM, antenna input. That's your microphone input. That's gonna be for your steering wheel control. Your SWC controller will plug into there. USB input, five volt at 1.5 amps. So that's fast charging. This is a plug for your RCA, so that's gonna be your output, and also the camera input and the video output. You have your 3.5 millimeter auxiliary in, that's gonna be audio and video, and then you also have your main wire harness here. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. As you can see, this is our source menu. We have our radio, Bluetooth, USB, iPod, web link, which we'll go over here in a minute, phone call, auxiliary, and your rear view camera. You have the buttons here on the side, so you have your power on or off, source menu, which is the one we're on, then you have your volume up and down here. All right, so let's go ahead and go into settings. Here we have our system settings. We'll go through this one by one. All right, so we have our language. We have the USB settings for the iPhone, uh, either set to web link or iPod. All right, we're gonna go ahead and set that to web link. 
your date, your time, backup camera input, either on or off. So if you're adding a backup camera, just make sure that's turned on. And then you have your dimmer trigger. And that's if you have your illumination wire hooked up. Dimmer value, you can adjust from there. Restore the settings, your system information. We'll let you know what software is currently running on your radio. And then you have a licensing agreement. Next, we have our theme. So we can go to background. We can choose from here. We have those. It doesn't look like we can add anything here. So you can't, let's say, upload a image from a USB and put it on your background. It doesn't appear that you can do that. Okay. Illumination, you can choose your illumination color, blue, red, orange, green, or if you just want white, which looks more of a, I'd say teal color than white. And then your sound settings. So here you have your equalizer. This is gonna be your graphic EQ. You have a couple of presets here on the bottom from flat, super bass, powerful, natural, vocal, and then custom. So if you wanna customize it, we can just get in here and adjust. All right, fader and balance volume so you have your main volume your talking volume through your bluetooth and then the bluetooth audio so that's going to be on your music or that's going to be when you're taking phone calls next you have loudness on or off bass boost on or off cutoff which is your crossover so let's take a look at the crossover points available all right so you have 25 32 40 50 63 80 100 125 160 200 2 and 250 all right, and it's gonna be the same for your rear, so I'm not gonna go through that. And the subwoofer level is probably gonna be the same. So you got 32, 25, 32, 40, 50, 63, 80, 100, 120, 160, 200, and 250. Okay, and then beep control on or off. Make note, this does not have time alignment. For Pioneer radios, we're kind of used to having that time alignment. This one does not come with it, okay? Okay, let's check out Weblink. Now you will need to download the Weblink app. Okay, and then you're gonna go ahead and just go through the steps here. All right, now we're connected. You'll have access to a limited amount of apps. I definitely know that YouTube will work. So if you do wanna stream YouTube through this, you can do it. Apps like Netflix and Hulu just won't do that. If you wanna be able to do that, then what you're gonna to wanna to do is get an HDMI to composite downscale converter and since this radio does have inputs you're able to do that all right so let's go to youtube all right so you're able to select youtube videos right on the face of the radio i can say the scroll feature here is, is a little slow so i guess if you just use the up and down that's much better all right then you can select and play through all right on the face of the radio so you don't need to touch your phone once that web link app is connected this does work with iphones and android phones okay so here's the feature i do want to talk about so I got my iPhone hooked up and if I go into Weblink and if I do the casting, then I'm actually able to use Google Maps or Apple Maps in this case. And it displays on the radio, as you can see. And also you can use the screen, the radio screen to punch in an address. So it doesn't have the features like Apple CarPlay where you just plug it in and go. There are a couple extra steps in order for it to work, but it will cast over your navigation directly onto the radio. So that is definitely a good thing. All right, and just to check, just to make sure this doesn't work, let's go to Netflix and then we'll try to stream something here. Yeah, so that's not gonna work. So you can see it's actually playing on my phone, but it is not playing on the actual radio. And that's probably gonna be true with Hulu as well. Okay, that'll do it for the demo. Pros and cons. Pros, capacitive touchscreen, built-in crossovers, front, rear, and sub, 13 band equalizer, Web link is a good feature, audio video input, high quality flak playback, 192 kilohertz slash 24 bit, the remote is included, and of course the price. Cons, okay, the obvious, no Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, and a two volt pre-out versus a four volt or better pre-out, and also no time alignment on this radio. We're gonna give this radio four stars despite not having Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. I think they should have included some other features like time alignment and four volt pre-out. 
Nevertheless, a solid radio at an affordable price. To find out more about this radio or to purchase it, click the link in the description below. That'll take you directly to the product page. Remember about our financing. Simply add to cart, pick a financing option, get approved, and we'll send your radio out ASAP. Make sure to look to us for all your aftermarket automotive needs, especially in car audio, but also including performance, suspension, accessories, and more. Because we don't drive stock. Join the Upgrade Nation and subscribe to this channel and make sure you hit that like button. Okay, we're done. I'm Josh with Breaker Stereo and Performance. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time.